So today I'm reviewing the Core Reaction Pro MX1000. Let's talk about the specs and then I'll get into my review. So the MX1000 comes in a 14 millimeter and a 16 millimeter variant. I have the 16 millimeter variant. It has a total length of 15.75 inches. The handle is 4.75 inches long. The grip circumference is 4.125 inches and it weighs in between 7.8 and 8.1 ounces. Mine was a little on the lighter side and I did add an overgrip on it which kind of brought it up closer to the 8 ounce range. It's got a T700 carbon fiber surface. It's got a unibody construction and it's basically got your typical polypropylene honeycomb core. So as far as pop and power are concerned, the paddle does have power, not what you would see out of say a 14 or 13 millimeter paddle. Um, and I think that's partially due to the lack of pop on this. You're not gonna see the ball popping off the face of this paddle. It's not that it's um, super buttery, but because of the surface and the way that it feels, uh, the ball tends to dwell on the surface a little bit longer than some of your other paddles. So if you're a control player that's looking for a paddle that can also give you a little bit more put away power, I think this is a good paddle for you. So as far as control and spin are concerned, I already mentioned the fact that the ball does tend to dwell on the surface of the paddle quite a bit. I was able to get my dinks in quite nicely with this paddle and also generate Lots of spin, especially on serves with this paddle. Um, it's really great and good at really getting a hold of that ball. You're really seeing a little more dwell time than most 16 millimeter paddles that I've seen and played with. And so you're gonna get a lot of control, I think, with this paddle. So let's talk about the grip and the appearance. Uh, as you can see, I've got an overgrip on this. The grip that came with this paddle is quite thin. And unfortunately, uh, that made it difficult for me to play with because the grip is mostly squared. And um, you should be able to see some pictures right now that are showing that after I took the grip off. It's a pretty square grip. So if you're used to a more octagonal grip, you're going to, uh, you're probably not going to be comfortable with this in your hand. You may want to put an an over wrap or two on it to bulk it up a bit so that you have more uh, more control over where you're how you're holding the paddle as far as the color is concerned um, I, I like the white and the black It's kind of got a real stark appearance you don't see a lot of black and white paddles out there it'd be really neat if you could get this in multiple colors so you could pick your edge guard color and your grip color Maybe they could offer that as a customization offer uh, for an, an upcharge. So this paddle out of the box weighed in at 7.7 ounces. With the overgrip that I put on it, it's now at 8 ounces. The paddle is fast. It's fast in the hand and I really like how I can respond at the net with this paddle. And um, yeah, so the weight is good, it's nice and low, you could, which makes it very customizable if you want to add lead tape to the sides to increase the size of the sweet spot um, or just change the balance of the paddle in general. So who is this paddle for? Well, I think if you are a recreational player that's looking for a paddle that's going to perform more, maybe you're an amateur looking to start getting into tournaments and you're a control player, this is going to be the paddle for you. If you can generate a lot of power on your own because of either your size or your technique, this is also a good paddle for you. If you're looking for something that is going to give you more power just because of the way that it's made, I don't think it's for you. This is a quite balanced paddle, leaning more on the control side. Everyone has their opinions on how a particular paddle plays. This one plays a lot more like a control paddle to me than it does a power paddle. Hey, I just needed to jump in here real quickly because I forgot that I didn't uh, talk about the price and value of this paddle. 
when I was doing my main review. This Joker is on sale right now for like around $87 at Core's website. You are not gonna find a paddle of this quality for under $100 anywhere. This is a great quality paddle, great value you're getting from it. Even though I don't like the grip, other people may like the grip. Grip! Uh, so I say for if it's under $100, you're looking for another paddle, this is a great opportunity for you to get a good paddle, a good balanced paddle. So that's the Core Reaction Pro MX-1000. I think this is a great value if you are looking to upgrade your paddle and you just want another paddle maybe to have in your bag. I know sometimes I like to play with, have, bring different paddles with me because maybe one day the one paddle I'm playing with, I'm just not feeling it. And so I wanna change paddles. I want something with a little more control or I want something with a little more power depending on who I'm playing against. And this is a good paddle to have in your arsenal. Finally, I just wanna thank uh, Perry Road Baptist Church for making their facility available to me here. We, there's a group of us that play here on Wednesday nights and I've done a lot of play testing here for paddles, the net behind you, uh, lots of different things. So thanks to Perry Road Baptist Church for making this facility available to us. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.